In the last video, I talked about the theory of calculating the speciation of polyprotic acids as a function of pH. In this video, I will show you the implementation. So I'm going to set this up as a general polyprotic acid speciation calculator, and I'm going to make it general for up to six dissociations. So right here in cell B4 through B9, I list the pKa's of one through six dissociations. Now, if you're working with acetic acid, which is a simple monoprotic acid, well, acetic acid has other protons on it. They just don't come off of the molecule in water. And so it turns out that the math for monoprotic and hexaprotic are the same if you treat the second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth dissociations as being super weak. In other words, I set the pKs to 25. All right. So this is an algebraic trick. It works great. It means you can have one equation and calculate the speciation for monoprotic systems all the way up to, in this case, hexaprotic systems. So you'll notice that I've got 4.5, 4.75 in here. I've calculated the Ka. All of my other Ka's are real, but super small. And so uh, I can now go ahead and calculate the speciation as a function of pH. So column A, I have pH from 0 to 14. Column B, I have the H plus concentration. Column C, I have the denominator. Um, and the denominator here is B13 raised to the sixth plus B13 to the fifth times the first K plus B13 to the fourth times K1, K2. And essentially what I'm doing is I'm calculating D here, and this is equation 11-4 out of Daniel Harris. So... Um, you can refer to Harris or you can refer to my previous YouTube video um, for this calculation. This denominator changes as a function of pH, but it's common to all of the alpha calculations. And so here's my alpha zero. So that's H plus to the sixth over D, H plus to the fifth K1 over D, H plus to the fourth K1, K2 over D, etc all the way out to K1, K2, K3, K4, K5, K6 over D, which is exactly what I have in equation 11-4. It's also often helpful to calculate N, which we will call the degree of dissociation, and it's the number of protons that have to come off of this weak acid um, to get it to this pH. So in this case, it's a weak acid. The pH is zero. No protons have to come off. Well, N is alpha one. So it, it's the fraction that lost one proton plus two times alpha two plus three times alpha three. So if you're, if you're in this chemical form and you have a lot of the acid in that form, then you had to lose three of those protons all the way out to alpha six. So again, I'll refer to you chapter 11 in Harris if you want more details, or you can go to my YouTube video from the prior post. Okay, so there's N calculated all the way down. So now I can plot these, and here's my pH on the x-axis, and here's the fraction. Well, since I only have a monoprotic acid, I only have two components. The red is the acid component. The green is the basic component. Notice they cross at the pKa. So... 99% or more of the acid component. As you get close to the pKa, this drops down, goes to effectively zero past the pKa. The basic form starts very small. At the pKa, it reaches 50%, and then it increases. And then this is the degree of dissociation, or nu, um, and it will go from zero, nothing was dissociated, to 50%. So notice I'm using this scale right there. There's 
uh, to 100% associated once you get well past the PKA. Okay, well, that's nothing fancy. We don't need a fancy spreadsheet to do a simple monoprotic acid. But what's kind of cool is I can now go in and say, well, let's do the same calculation for carbonic acid. So I've pasted these in so you have some examples to work with. And let's put those in. And now, wow, look at that. Now I have the speciation for carbonic acid in the acid under acidic pHs. It's all H2CO3. And then I have the bicarbonate fraction right here in the middle. And I have the carbonate fraction out here at high pH. Notice these fractions cross at the pKa. Well, let's go ahead and do phosphate. Now I have a triprotic acid system. My degree of dissociation gets cut off because I set this to, to 2. So let's set this to uh, 6. And there's my degree of dissociation. And if you want to, you can paste in the EDTA data. The speciation diagram gets quite messy. So I think that's a good place to start. My implementation, again, is pretty straightforward. I have a pH. I calculate H plus. From H plus and the Ks, I get the denominator. From the denominator, H plus and the Ks, I can get alpha 0, alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3, alpha 4, alpha 5, alpha 6. Degree of dissociation, notice that's exactly this equation right here. And the beauty of this is because I use dollar signs in the appropriate places, there we go, we'll use that as an example, I can now just fill down and do that calculation for all species. So, neat algebraic trick. Just make sure that if you're going to go back to acetic acid, you put in some 25s here, or... It's no longer acetic acid. It's some funky thing between uh, acetic acid and phosphoric 